Greetings and you guys here in here. What is up? Happy morning, evening, night, <laughs> whenever you guys are watching this. Uh, today is Wednesday and it's about 12.30, it's about noon. And I just filled up the car. I have stuff to drop off to the post office, drop off to um, the Goodwill. And I am going to hit up a couple thrift stores along the way. So if you guys want to come with me, hop in the car, get your seatbelt on, and let's go do some thrifting. Okay, we are we are at our next our first stop, the Goodwill. Don't touch it. I got Princess Park too right in front. Looking at the bags, this one's a treasure and bond for twelve ninety nine. Mm, oh no, it's fabric. It's not my favorite. There's a Rebecca Minkoff right here in Hawaii. Um, but, uh, no, it's a lot of things I don't want to deal with. But let's see what the front looks like. I mean, I could just paint the whole thing. I don't know what you guys think. I found this D-Row bag. This is actually kind of funny. <laughs> D-Row. It's almost a Dior. Not quite yet there. This leather? Sorpresa. Genuine leather. Herschel backpack. Oh, that one's like falling apart. Petunia pickle bottle, that's like a baby bag. Any mugs. There's a bell, Beauty and the Beast. Can we see any anthro? I just found this little Gringotts like gold bar thing. It was originally 20 bucks or 18.95. Five bucks here. It's kind of cute. I feel like Eliza would really like this. He's really into Harry Potter right now. It's not in bad shape. Here's one that came up. Ooh, this is kind of fabulous. I'm looking at the glass and crystal stuff. This is pretty, but it's missing the little topper thing, which is always a bummer. How much is it? Uh, that's like 13 bucks. And let's see if we can find anything else. Oh, look at there's a Gumby, but half of his face is missing. Oh, this is pretty. Mm -hmm. Oh, this has the writing on it. Is that Lennox? Is it, it did say Lennox, but there's only one. So I'll probably leave it. Oh, wait, no, I just found another one. Ooh, there's two. Them together. So far, we found two. Will we find any more? I found another one. We got three. Um, okay, now I think that might be it. I don't think I see any more. I do see some senior reductions back here, but World Market, $1.99. I was, I was looking through the shoes when I found this. And this is like one of my favorite things. I love playing this with the kids in their little, this little alligator game. Anyway, I'm looking at the shoes. Um, should I get an alligator? Like, we literally have the same exact one. So I feel like no one really needs it. Ah, last one. Stop, are these Balenciagas? Stop, they are Balenciagas. $8.99? Stop it, I just got some Balenciaga shoes for $8.99. 
Are these real? Maybe. Do they have a number inside? Hmm. Okay, just got to TJ Maxx. Go inside. I had no clue that they had Yetis and stuff here. They have this giant purple one, and this yellow one is so care of the color. But, no. Hadrian, be strong. Be strong, Hadrian. I'm looking for Hello Kitty stuff. Alright, Hello Kitty. Little Wednesday Adams mug. These ghosts are pretty cute. Hey boo. Witch, please. This is so cute, it looks like Peanut. Adorable. Oh, these are nice too. Okay, but Hedrian isn't finding any Hello Kitty. <laughs> Will I ever find anything? I don't know if it's just like my For You page on TikTok is like literally only Hello Kitty stuff from here and it's a problem. It's like I'm like obsessed with finding anything. <sighs> it's like my life now. This is my identity is trying to find anything from this Hello Kitty collection and I'm dying until I find something like the only thing I found was it wasn't even from Halloween it was like a Thanksgiving fall Hello Kitty like hand lotion whoa cool I love that it's just like all one thing just got to Marshalls. Hey guys, Hayden here. Just want to hop on really quick and let you guys know we're having a live sale today at 11 a.m. Pacific time. So I will link it up there and down below in the description box as well. So join us. It's going to be fun. And hope to see you there. Bye. Okay, that ceramic. I think it's ceramic mushroom statue is kind of cute. They have these purple mushrooms for propagating. They have these orange ones, which I really like, but these don't have holes in them. So they're purely just decorative. <gasps> Stop! I found something! I'm crying. They have a couple of them, too. Okay, I think I definitely a little I, I'm gonna have to get like two or three, you know? Well, maybe we can do one for a giveaway? Yes, maybe, so cute. There are more mugs over here. Oh, there's this Hello Kitty, she's cute. Do I need her too? Maybe. That is cute, she's 10 bucks. Okay, what else can we find? Any other Hello Kitty stuff? Queen, she's fabulous. I don't know how I missed this. This one's super cute. Also, I found these. So cute. How adorable. There's a Kudatama bowl. How much is this? $8.99. Oh, the coasters, Nightmare Before Christmas. This one's cute. That's cute. Hunter Hunter, I love this anime. Wait, why do I, I might possibly need this. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna send a photo to my brother and see if he wants one. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Also, I got a cart because too many hands, or not enough hands. But this is cute. No, I don't need that. P.S. This is all the Hello Kitty stuff. Cute. I found an even 
cute or Hello Kitty mug, and this one has all the characters on it. I love it because Little Twin Star's on there, they're my fave. And Kuromi, my melody's on there. Pachaco, Kuropi. They're all in there. Where is Batsmaru? Is Batsmaru in there? Uh oh, I don't see Bats. Oh, look at there's Tekko. I feel like he's like the forgotten character. No one cares about him anymore. All right, we just got to Crossroads. We just got to Crossroads in the handbag section. Let's see if we can find anything exciting. Matt and Matt. Oh, Rebecca Minkoff, 42. Yeah, their handbag prices, I feel like, start going up a little bit. Here's a Mark Jacobs. This one's a good one. 28. Might do this, depending. We'll see, this is a possibility. What's this? Oh, no, I don't know. Kipling. Case paid Saturday. Kate Spade, 42. Hmm. Anyway, greetings and salutations, you guys. Welcome to a new video. We're at the Goodwill in Costa Mesa. Let's go ahead and check it out. Oh my gosh, that is so funny. <laughs> oh my gosh, this Squishmallow is so cute. Ten bucks. He's a little crab or... He's a crab, right? He's not a lobster. So cute. Oh, there's a little cow too. Why do I kind of want him, but I can't get him. No more Squishmallows, Adrian. Be strong. This tote is pretty cute. It says Chow. It's by Shira Leah. Or Shira Lee? I don't know how to pronounce it. And then, like, the knickknack section. Okay, so I just found one of these. It's right there. It's an anthropology pink wine glass, but there's only one. So, I wonder if there's any more just like hiding somewhere. There's other pink ones, but they're not anthropology. It's just, just that one. So I'll leave that there for right now. This is info. What are chain? Pisces. Oh, I'm a Pisces. What are M? Oh, Lily Pulitzer. This is cute. I almost dropped it. I was trying to see what the price was, but there's no price. Right? It's not my imagination. This is crazy. I just found a set of two Kriana makeup bags. Also, a pair of Kate Spade sunglasses. But, um, nuts! $3.99 each. They just need a good cleaning. Okay, I found another one of these glasses. This one sells the anthropology sticker underneath. $1.99. But this is like a different version, but they're like from the same collection. 
Hey guys, okay, so we are back at the house and I'm really excited to share with you guys what we ended up getting today when we went out uh, like thrifting and shopping and stuff. So it was a pretty fun day, I, I do have to say. Um, it had a little bit of a late start, it had a late ending. Like I literally didn't get home until like nine o'clock. Like it was crazy out and now I'm filming this and it's like 10.36. But let me share with you guys what we ended up getting today. I So we went on this journey of trying to find something from the Hello Kitty Halloween collection. <laughs> and I have to start off with that because our journey has come to an end. I finally did, I this is the, o the only Halloween Hello Kitty thing that I ended up, um, it's not the only thing that I saw, but it's the only thing that I got. So I did end up getting this one cup. There were two other cups, but they had, um, they had like damage to them when I was looking at them. So I was like, I'm not gonna get them, I'm just gonna leave them. But this was only $5. Like, it's so cute. It's like a little Hello Kitty mummy, and she is adorable. So I'm very excited. She's so cute. So there she is. Finally found her. I cannot believe it. I found two. Uh, there was like that little glass cup that was really cute. It looked like it was for tea. And I found the little glass canisters with the ear swabs and the cotton balls or cotton swabs super cute but i definitely didn't need them i just want i it was fun to see them and then the oh the little hello kitty cup that was like the hello kitty like her face that was 10 bucks i was like do i know like i feel like i should have gotten it <laughs> now that i'm thinking about it so but i didn't end up getting that because i actually found this cup which i am actually even more obsessed with and it is this one right here it is so stinking cute it just looks like a bunch of like different stickers were stuck on here for the design it's so fun it has all of the different characters it's not halloween but it is like sanrio and i just thought this was so 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 cute is it focusing yeah it's so Stinking cute. Plus, it has a little twin star. They're like my favorite, and it has my melody, Karomi. Oh, and it has it has Peckle, and I feel like Peckle is like long lost. I don't even think they make any Peckle things anymore. Is please someone tell me down below in the comments. Please let me know if they still make Peckle things, because Peckle used to be. One of my favorites. Oh, Bath Maru is on here. I thought Bath Maru wasn't on there for a second. Okay, there he is. Very, very nice. So, it has all my favorites, including Peckle. There's a like, Kuropi and Choco Cat and a Tuxedo Sam. So, so, so cute. They actually, they actually do match, though. Like, their colors, I feel like, go together. And, yeah. But, <sighs> should have gotten that Hello Kitty cup. It's okay. We're not going to live in regret. We'll find more cups. I still can't believe I found it. I'm, I'm still on the hunt for a blanket. So if anyone has found the blanket. So this isn't the end of the journey. Uh, this is just the beginning, <laughs> honestly. We still have time, right? We still have time to find more goodies. Okay, then I also picked up these. Let me know if you guys have ever tried these. I got the strawberry syrup from Torani. I don't know. I'm, fe I'm feeling like I want to make some fun, like beverages i want to try to make the like my own version of the pink drink from starbucks and i should have just looked up the recipe but i was like maybe i can use strawberry syrup i don't know this one's not like the diet one though but it's okay but uh the, also the kids love like strawberry flavored things and you can use this for handcrafted sodas iced teas and lemonades so i was like why not this was seven dollars then this one was a diet one. The raspberry flavor, which I think would be also very delicious. And yeah, so got this. This one was $3.99. This one was way cheaper. So, I, but I think the skinny, the skinny syrups are um, cheaper, plus they come in plastic bottles. The Torani ones come in glass bottles. So, very excited about this. <laughs> So, uh, I don't know. If you guys have any recipes, too, please let me know. I want to try some. Otherwise, I'm just going to try my own and see what we can make. And I think that is it that I got from what, my whole Marshalls trip. There are so many things that I saw, but I was just trying to be strong and not 
end up like literally buying everything that I saw because there are so many cute things. I cannot wait for Halloween. I think I've said this before. Uh, my sister and I are already like brainstorming things because I think for sure we're having a Halloween party for the boys, um, my nephews, and I want to like decorate the house. I already told her what my theme was. I was like, sorry, you can't change it because I'm like dead set on this. I want to do Harry Potter meets Studio Ghibli. I really want to do something with the little soot sprites for sure. And I want to do, um, I need to find a little, what's, oh my gosh, now my brain is no longer working. The little cat from Kiki's Delivery Service. And I want to do something with the little mouse and the little bird from Spirited Away. And I just want to do like a lot of little fun things. And then of course like the Hogwarts thing. I feel like the decorations during Halloween are so fun too at Hogwarts. And I'm going to stop talking about it. But if anyone has any fun ideas, please let me know. But I, my sister and I are going to start brainstorming. I've already started thinking up things. So uh, I, I, I want to make a video about it. I always say I'm going to. I never end up doing it. So... If you guys really want to see it please let me know i need to yeah figure that out okay so let me show you guys what i got from goodwill and i got a couple of fun things let me start off with these i found these anthropology glasses and i they were this one was only $1.99 like literally i had to get it it still has the anthropology stickers underneath really really pretty it's like this pink the ombre is to clear and it has like the gold rim really really pretty dollar 99 and then i got this one and this is like the other style from this collection this is like the champagne and this is like the wine so they go together really really pretty this one was two dollars and 99 cents what's funny is that they're from the same collection but they have different colored tags so they didn't come in at the same time and these were the only ones that they had of each style so I'm pretty excited. I mean, I know those cups are pretty expensive. I don't know if I'm going to see if any of you, like maybe I'll sell them if you guys are interested. I don't know. I just like to collect this dumbware from Anthrop I just like to co collect any anthropology housewares, especially like cups, glasses, plates, stuff like that. I just love to collect it. And then eventually if like my collection gets crazy, I'll sell off some pieces like I have in the past. I might do these cups, I don't know, they're really pretty though, and I only have one set, but we'll see. If anyone else is like that, please let me know. Please tell me I'm not the only one that just collects these random things. Because <laughs> it is a little unhinged, I know. And, okay, then I got a set of these Kuyana pouches, and they're really pretty. I love that they're like a cherry red. Uh, they are a little dirty. Like this one has some marks on the bottom. This one looks like something was spilled on the exterior. I'm pretty sure I can just clean those off really easily with like some wipes. And then the interior, honestly, is not too bad also. The store did write inside of them right there, but um, we'll see if we can remove that. But they are great. They have, I think, is that the Pinterest logo? Is that what's on there, right? That's Pinterest, right? At first I was like Peloton, but I think that's Pin, is that? Hold on, do I have Pinterest on my phone? <gasps> it is the Pinterest logo. That's it right there. So it is the Pinterest logo and I don't, I don't have it downloaded in my phone. <laughs> I used to have it, but you know how your phone deletes stuff after you don't use it for a long time. That's what happened to that. It probably just got deleted. My mom loves Pinterest though, obsessed. And yeah, so I got a set. I'm gonna clean them up. They were both $3.99 too. So $3.99 and then this one also $3.99. Oh, I also forgot I got these glasses. I also got these Kate Spade sunglasses. These were like however much sunglasses are, like $2.99 or $3.99. And they're really cool. I like that they have the tortoise shell up top and then it's like this opaque kind of like red color underneath. And they just have the little... Uh, Spade hardware on the corners and they're just a cute pair of sunglasses. They're a good size too. Just a nice acrylic frame. They're in pretty decent condition. I'm gonna see how good they are. I need to like clean them up really well because they look like they've been through something. So we're gonna clean them up and we'll see. I might if if they're like 
not like super sellable condition i'll probably just do a giveaway on them because they'll be fun like just like beach sunglasses you know i like when i go places where i think like my sunglasses are gonna get damaged or possibly lost or something um like the beach like they will scratch up your sunglasses don't wear your nice sunglasses to the beach because the sand will get on them you can scratch them and that's horrible so like they're like beach sunglasses or like pool sunglasses you don't mind if they get wet stuff like that so um yes i'm but i'm pretty excited about these i don't know if i'm gonna keep them but i'll see if i can remove the gold leaf on there well i know i can remove it but I heard there's like a trick that you can do with like use tape and then you can use that to peel it off. So I'm actually gonna try that and see. Actually, yeah, I don't remember if they said that you can just use regular scotch tape for this. We will see, I don't know if it has to be like a specific kind of tape. So let's just, we're gonna try this together and see if any of it comes off. And not a bit of it came off. So maybe this isn't the move, or maybe you have to use stronger tape. Scotch tape really isn't the strongest. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to try this with like a packaging tape or something. Because, oh well, I, actually a little bit of it is coming off. Very little. I, I know like acetone or uh, something will definitely remove it a lot easier, but I, was, I really wanted to try the tape. The tape does not work in this instance, but that's okay. You live and you learn. All right, then, oh, I think, okay, so I showed the sunglasses. This is the last thing that I got. <laughs> this was actually inside the case at the register, and it is so cute. I don't know if like, I should keep it, but it's like a little coin pouch, a leather coin pouch, it's a cupcake. And on top of it, it has like a flower and a little butterfly with Jewels, this is actually a Brighton piece. And it is so cute, it was $2.99. Look how adorable this is. I love that polka dot interior, it is so fun. And it's in such great shape too, like honestly, it's in really great condition. And it's so cute, just a cute little coin pouch. You can even put your AirPods inside here. Cards won't fit inside, but AirPods change will be perfect. So, got that, adorable. And I think that rounds out what we got from, oh no, I got this too. Oh my gosh, can't forget this. I got this extra large, I think it's supposed to be like this. This is a Dagny Dover tote bag. I guess you can just have the wings coming out like this. A Dagny Dover tote, it's in this beautiful maroon color. What's amazing about this tote is that this is actually a laptop bag, so you can put your laptop inside of there. It even has like this drink holder thing right here, which is awesome, and it's made out of like this neoprene, so it's like water resistant, so if you're, whatever you put in there, if it starts to um, maybe like precipitate a little bit, the contents of your bag will be fine because it has that neoprene there to kind of protect it and lots of pockets, all that stuff. This guy was only $12. What a deal. And I think it's because they didn't really know that it was Dagny Dover. This is a Dagny Dover logo and then it has Dagny Dover just really small. Like they don't really have big logos. It's actually on the hardware. So you always gotta look at the hardware because sometimes that's where it is. But Really, really cute. Um, it's just a little squished, but I know that I'll just like hang it and put something heavy inside of it, condition it up really nicely, and it should just regain its shape, no problem. So that was a really, really good find. Such an amazing tote. Dagny Dover makes such really, really good bags, and that one is actually leather. Dagny Dover bags are normally like a, some sort of, um, they have like this special fabric that they normally use, which is really nice and sturdy, but nothing beats good old fashioned leather. So. Love that, super fun find. Okay, then I only got two other things from Crossroads. I did manage to sell a lot of items to Crossroads, which was fantastic, because I have so much stuff. I have even more stuff that I want to sell to them, and it just has been like a slow process, because it takes time to like bring stuff, and then go to from store to store. Sometimes there's a wait, all that stuff, and yeah. And I have like a bunch of shoes that I want to bring, and, I just want to give them like a good cleaning first sometimes. It 
Like, obviously, items are always better when they're cleaned. So I just want to clean them, make them look their best before we drop them off to see if anyone would be interested in buying them. But um, I have this awesome Marc Jacobs. This is the Natasha, I think. And this is in the smaller size of the Natasha. So this is the smaller one. It's also the updated version, but th I don't believe this is the new version because Marc Jacobs retired this bag but has recently took it out of retirement and is back in circulation. I think the retail is about $400 for this. And this one is the newer iteration before they stopped making it. So it has the thicker cross body strap. That's kind of how you know. Like um, if you want to check to see if you have like a newer version of this bag or if you see one at the thrift or whatever, the newer versions have the thicker strap and also they have this kind of connector right here. The older ones, the magnet is attached. So it would just be like this, it would be attached to the flap. The newer ones have this little tab like this, which is great, and that's how it connects. But same zipper compartment, this goes all the way in. Oopsies. And then you got your interior. This one does not have any pockets in the inside. And then this I got for $28, which I think is a really, really good deal. The bag is in really great shape. Hardware looks really nice. And yeah, it's just a great bag. This is a classic. And mark my mark, like Marc Jacobs, amazing. I love Marc Jacobs stuff. Oh, it's fantastic. Now this one is crazy. I don't know if I'm going to be keeping this. I probably should just let it go because I have too many of these in my collection already. But this came in such an amazing container. This item also retails for over a thousand dollars. I think it's like a thousand forty or a thousand eighty, and that's crazy. But in my hands, I have a pair of limited edition John of Arvado sunglasses. Uh, let me see if it'll focus. There, the, little, the box is a little dirty. Um, I'm sure I can clean it, but. It's <laughs> crazy. I love that it has like this little case. It has a little pocket in the back as well. I can't believe this is only $55 because honestly these sunglasses are so expensive. Even like the resale of these is crazy. And then, so it comes with this like super fancy box. It's lined in this really nice microfiber. And you got the case. Then you open it up. And then the sunglasses are right here. They also do have the little cleaning thing right there inside. But here are the sunglasses. They are these beautiful like olive green sunglasses, gunmetal hardware. I love them. They're actually um, like the front face of the sunglasses and then the, the arms are wrapped in leather. And then the inside of the front lenses are in just like the regular um, like acrylic or plastic or whatever these are made out of. And then you have green lenses. These sunglasses are so nice. I don't know how they look on me though. What do you guys think about these? I think they're pretty nice sunglasses, right? Like these are pretty cute. So I don't know if I'm gonna be keeping them for myself or selling them. I feel like I just should just let them go before I decide to, um, to keep them because I love sunglasses so much. But honestly, I have like 8 million sunglasses. And, but these are nice. I mean, I feel like they could just be a little bigger. Like, are they too small for me? I have like a really giant head. So, but they do fit really nicely. I think that it's like, I feel like they fit, but then it's just like how you feel about like whether you want larger frames or whatever. But I feel like these do look pretty decent and I do like the color like the olive green is nice you don't see olive green very often but these sunglasses are beautiful the craftsmanship the details on these like the temples like look at that they the, these are leather wrapped the end in the metal I love the detail they're just gorgeous so <sighs> pretty pretty cool they're in really 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 great shape too they look like I just bought them from the store and yeah, they come with the case and or both cases, the, bo uh, the case, the box, the little cleaning cloth thing. So, but I think that is it. That is it from what I bought today. I hope you guys had fun checking out my little haul and going shopping with me. The little treasure hunt that we went on today was also pretty fun. I went to a couple different like Marshall stores that are 
they go to, they're all marshals, right? I think they were all marshals, actually. Uh, I was going to go to more, but it took a little time. You never know how many people are going to be waiting at like buy sell trade stores to sell, and sometimes you just have to wait. And it's like that part of that waiting game is just like a little unhinged. But um, pro tip if you are selling to Crossroads, they do have. Uh, you can sign up like online and that way kind of like holds your spot but then you kind of have to be ready to be there within 15 minutes when you get your text message saying that they're ready for you so you only have 15 minutes to make it up there um, otherwise you lose your spot in line so there's that but thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today hope you guys had fun shopping and checking out what I got let me know down below in the comments if you guys have gone thrifting recently and let me know what you found because I love hearing about your finds as well I, I will also link the next live sale for you guys um, if you're watching this video on Thursday, August 24th, 2023, we are having a live sale today at 11 a.m. Pacific time. So join with me or join me. It's going to be so much fun. 11 a.m. Pacific time. And yeah, I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye, guys.